Uh, Markus Kern, uh, founder and CEO of Fun with Bowls. Um, I'm very excited to hear what you're going to tell us about, Markus. Go Thank ahead. Thank you so much. So, hello everybody. I'm Markus. I have a company called Fun with Balls. Yes, the name is quite funny, and that's the reason why we chose it. I'm going to show you why. Um, I started in advertising and branding, basically, doing a lot of big shows for a lot of big companies, spending big branding budgets and having a lot of fun internationally on that. But at some point I realized I want to do something that's a little bit more meaningful or do something that's not just the next pitch. So who knows what number that is? What is it called? Okay guys, that's a trillion. 2.4 trillion is basically the money that is spent on obesity within the next 15 years per year worldwide. Meaning just the effects of people not getting their ass up. So I thought, okay, that's kind of an interesting topic. Built up a team and was like, okay, we have that problem. People don't do enough sports. Adults, kids, nowadays with our digital future, it's so hard to get people just out of their screens, out of their home to actually do something. Then we said, okay, how do we do this? Well, there's sports tech, okay? Problem with sports tech and all the stuff that we've seen is really amazing. I'm just going to say it out loud. It's not going to help because you all take care of the people when they're in the sport, when they're watching the sport, when they're playing tennis, you have a smart racket. It's going to make it nice. So you're probably going to be using it for one or two months, watch some data on a list. And then, well, it's not going to make a kid jump up in the morning going, mom, I want to do that. So we focused on this and we thought, okay, we have to go a little bit deeper than just delivering a product. So we focused on delivering a full solution and a business model. Basically what we're trying to do is we have a massively big problem. We're not going to solve it like that. So we don't believe in gimmicks. We don't believe in let's make things a little bit nicer. We believe like let's change the whole thing. We believe in fun and that was right in the presentation that I sent, but you get the point. Um, this is what we do. That video should have played too. Okay, I'm gonna just go. We create big, big, big systems that are a little bit harder to integrate than just a watch. So we go into locations, we offer them upgrade that squash court, update that gym, and we fill it with sensors, we fill it with projections, and we have video games all over the place. Meaning like the kid is not playing football and we analyze it, the kid is literally shooting the ball at monsters, he's playing space invaders, he's doing a competitive game where you play together against the system or together with the system. Everything in the room is tracked, every ball is tracked, we know the speed of the ball, we know the speed of every person, we know how well they reacted, we can read out everything and we couldn't put it in one giant big computer game. Um, it's really sad that you don't see this. I kindly ask you, check it out. Once you've seen it, this would have been so much better. Um, we won a lot of prizes with our first product. We started in Squash because it was very easy for us to integrate. Squash has a massive problem. Numbers have declined rapidly. There's a lot of Squash centers. They're poorly used, like below two hours. We bring them up between eight to 12 hours per day. We have 19,000 hour play, uh, hours played so far. We have 20 centers around the world already. It all comes with the app. It all comes with analytics, everything that you know. But that's not the point. It just gets people moving. The second product that we just launched is a multi-ball. Um, it's basically just a wall that you can put anywhere. It's super rigid. You can't break it even if you try to hit it with an axe. It's made to be put in schools. It's made to be put in sports centers. Some restaurants are even getting it, hotels and so on. So basically, Whatever you have a white wall and you want people to have some fun, run around, play with it, that's the real deal. We don't actually have to install this. This is a product that we can just ship out so the centers can build it up themselves, can manage it themselves and so on. And it's ridiculously stupid. We call it the IKEA system because if you have a hotel, you want to have something where you don't have to brief your staff how to use it. This has been going really, really well for the last couple of weeks because we just launched it. We earn uh, money four ways. We sell the hardware, we have the software as a service model, a marketplace and advertising, but much more importantly, we provide the full basic model. Like we don't give you like this is a product, we say this is gonna save your center. We even have a buyback option now because we can guarantee that it's gonna improve your business. If not, we take it back, no money. Next step, we scale up and go really, really big. Um, we have five more sports. We're currently raising money. Since two weeks, we decided to um, basically take these numbers up a notch. So this is just the very beginning. And we just launched a very, very new branch, which is our own event 
branch where we're going to be working with large brands, how to bring sports and gamification on a much, much bigger scale. That's it for me. Um, oops. Nobody saw that, right? Great. Thank you very much, Marcus. Um, I need you guys to see the video, because without that, it's really difficult. And I'll tell you something about the video afterwards. So do we have that right now? Okay. Thank you so much. Now, just I, I have a question because Marcus said you you came from advertising, but I noted that on your LinkedIn feed you posted this video, and it had half a million impressions. So, how did you get those? To be honest, we don't have a fucking clue. Like, it's literally just we got totally okay. swarmed. We have a good mission. People know that the whole activity part is very very important. Okay. Every sport has the problem that participation is declining. So. I think it just hit the nerve. So it seems people are attracted to what you do. Yes, they, they luckily are, which makes Good. that guy very, very sleepless because he's our sales manager. OK, great. Jury. Yeah, I'm impressed about the presentation, and it, um, I think it's really interesting. What is the price point of a, of a board, of a video board? Uh, we have different price points. I mean, what thi one thing that I like to mention, we're now going into more and more sports. Um, the multi-ball is the very entry one. We sell it at 8,000 euros, which is going to come down with the time. No license fee, no installation, no nothing, because we try to keep that product as simple as possible. It's literally buy it, ship it, have it. Um, the other ones are a little bit higher. They range between 15 to 33 grand, depending on how deep you want to go and how much you want to use it for the real pro analysis and everything. Interesting. Um, Impressive, impressive presentation, Marcos. Um, I saw part of the video, you have something on the Olympics on Buenos Aires. So who are your main customers? Because literally this can be bought by a hotel or whoever else, but who are you focusing to sell the solution? I mean, we're a B2B2C, uh, so we focus on the, on the operators first, the fitness chains, the, everybody. We're now having a, uh, a nice deal with center parks in the UK. Um, everybody that has a facility which is underused. And then we basically go in, then we also market it to the customers. Uh, Buenos Aires was important because we got chosen by the World Squash Federation to present their sport and just as a showcase. And we basically were one of the three trending topics with the court. So. OK. And it's. It does that answer the question? Because it's, it's, not just a, it's not just a leisure thing, right? It, it's also a training tool. Okay. So for, for those of you who play tennis, I think I spend the whole part of my youth hitting a ball against a wall. Um, and I guess that would enhance that experience greatly. Probably right? would have met you here as a ten tennis pro today then. <laughs> yes, yeah, I missed that. Okay. Thank you very much, Marcus. Thank you. And if anybody has partnerships, information, just reach out to me. Yeah? Okay. Let me have the, the microphone. Um, thank you very much. Okay. That's